Hi guys, welcome to Tony Talks, the first one of many hopefully. Uh, basically what the Tony Talks is about is what we talk about in Mac Chat to regards to the adults and uh, to the children, what we teach, because we mainly ch uh, teach children at Yard Martial Arts. My name is Tony Rice, Chief Instructor at Yard Martial Arts. Now, basically what the talks are going to be about is about everything. About mindsets, about improving yourselves, about dealing with your fear, dealing with bullying, dealing with courage. How as an adult you can you know you can change your perspective on things, even if it's something's not really working well for you. How you look at the good things inside of that, because at the end of the day, everything is down to you, one hundred percent to your mindset. Okay, and how you take that information, how you deal with it. So the first talk today is basically just about the keeper of the gate. You know, who is the keeper of the gate? What do I mean by the keeper of the gate? Now. When you think about it, if you look at the world, whose world are you actually seeing? Are you actually seeing somebody else's world? Or are you seeing your own world? Parents don't look through your eyesight, okay? Adults don't look through your eyesight. Your parents, your wife, your sister, your brother, whatever. You only the person who sees what you see. And also that works out for your ear and you know, all your other senses. You're the only person who sees everything in your world. Now, what I mean by keeper of the gate is it's up to you to decide how you feel, how you think and feel about anything that goes on around you. Now, for instance, we say to the children, uh, if you decide to get up late one morning and you're feeling tired and you drag your feet, you know, what's the reaction? Where the action is? Because I don't, don't want to go to school, I'm feeling, I don't want to go to school, I'm, I'm not tired, I'm doing what about, you know, all this type of stuff. Now, what actually happens is that child will get up drag the feet going downstairs, drag the feet into the breakfast, parents start reacting because they're starting to slow down, they're having to push the children to get the ready, clean the teeth, get washed, get changed for school, get downstairs, get the school bag, get the shoes on. Parents start getting a bit edgy because they're now under time pressure. Now children, a lot of children don't understand this, but their action of their mindset of letting the keeper, letting the, keep, the keeper open the door to let their thought, negative thought process go through their mind affects their outer world, i.e. the reaction of the parents. Now, if we take it on the flip side, and the child wakes up full of energy, can't wait to go to school, is desperate to get to school, they're gonna fly downstairs, they're gonna have the breakfast, they're gonna eat the breakfast, get ready when they're told to, straight away, come downstairs, get the shoes off. Nine times out of 10, the child is ready before the parents. The child is now saying, come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, but in an enthusiastic way. Now, open the gate to that expression, okay, sets that child up for a great day. And that goes for adults as well. As adults, you understand, guys, there's days where you get wake up and you're thinking, I just don't want to get over it. It's your first thought of the day tends to set up the rest of the day for most of us, okay? So effectively, what will actually happen is your mindset, your first thought, and nine times out of 10, let's be honest adults, our first thought nine times out of 10 is a negative thought, okay? You, you, if you catch your thought, the very first thing you listen to in your mindset is your negative thought. And it's trying to teach yourself through a habit, and like through martial arts, it is, takes time, you have to work the technique, you have to really focus on it, and really concentrate on what your first thought of the day as you wake up that will set you up nine times out of 10 because that first thought will lead into the next thought, which will lead to the next thought. Now, who's the keeper of the gate? You are, okay? Not your wife, okay, not your partner. You are the keeper of the day, gate. So we talk a lot about this with the children on the mat chats as well. And basically what we say to them in a, in a more fun way is that they're under responsibility for all their thought processes and understanding of things. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a long term. It's a, I have the same trouble. I've had in my time, I've had negative thoughts. I've been depressed at times. I've uh, been very uncomfortable as a child. And that's one of the reasons why I took martial arts up. And secondly, it's just built, built that up. And now we've got a really successful martial arts business. Uh, made some great progress with the kids and the children in the past and, and coming into the future. Uh, my first students now will be 33, 34, 35. And they're having really successful careers because we taught them the black belt mindset. Obviously there's other impacts within their own personal world of what, how, the, how their uh, parents have taught them, uh, how the schools have taught them, how the teachers, the particular instructors they've had in their university, teachers in university or instructor in doctorship. 
you know, because I know one of our students actually is now a surgeon at one of the hospitals in, up in the northeast. Now, basically, what you've got, guys, is that process of helping them, and they're the keeper of the gates and teaching them at a young age, okay? And we could change as well, adults, but our process is a bit slower than children who are age five or six because they just absolutely sponge the information in. But basically, guys, it's all down to you. You're the keeper of the gate. And on that premise, we'll have talks like this in the future with the Get Tony Talks in regards to different elements. How do we deal with fear? How do we deal with bullying? How do we deal when we need to show courage? And courage is not about going onto a battlefield. It could be having the courage being in a meeting to stand up to say that what you believe is your values because you might not like the way your company is going and you might have a say in that. Or you know you might have a challenge with your with the person who owns the business or your manager and it's a personal issue and you need to deal with it because you're not quite getting on or you're not getting on with each other now remember you're working in a team every team member has got to work together if you have one upset team member the whole thing breaks as i was one told a team is like a, a bike chain and if you have one chain or one link that's not working the chain will break and that goes for the team it goes for everything and also within that you also need to within the team is also work individually to bring the best out be creative now this all links back to 100 percent keeper of the mindset because you have to have the belief in yourself and it takes time because let's be honest all individuals may be confident but unconfident in other areas some people might be totally unconfident but very, very you know a little confident in certain areas and it's building that belief in your system and there's a process to go through i've done it guys i've done it over the last at least 20 years okay building this up and certainly in the last five years learned a lot uh learned some little tools that have helped me uh when you know the pressure of the business has been gone especially with the covid 19 as we're still in it and effectively other things like that which affect the business trying to support the team so support my family and even support myself and had challenges with the family uh, the, uh, family debriefments and stuff like that. So you've got a lot going on, but we'll talk about all that over time. And mainly these Tony Talks are for children as well. So you will have our children's section, our teenage section, and our adult se section. So I hope to see you soon in regards to the next one. They will be on a weekly basis. So please keep tuned and we'll take care. And thanks very much for today. So if you want to hear more from us guys, or you want to follow us, simply subscribe to the channel. And also, guys, make sure you ring the bell, okay? So you get notifications on your phone, your iPads and your computers when we put a new uh, video up, okay? So take care, guys. Thanks very much.